All right, so this is going to be using um, the random function and the either function in Twine. So just an example here, I have as part of my story, oh no, you tripped over your shoes. If I wanted to make my story a little bit smarter, I could make the story a little bit more variable to to who's reading it. So maybe I don't I don't want to just trip over shoes. I want to trip over a bunch of things, and Twine will just pick one of them to make everybody's story unique. So the way this is done is in parentheses you just type either, oops, type right, and then a colon, and then you do shoes, um, and you separate, and you have to put shoes in, in quotes, either single or double quotes, it doesn't matter. Um, shoes, I don't know, uh, you trip over your shoes, your dog, um, your cats, and then let's do one more, you trip over your own foot. Then you gotta close the parenthesis there. Now look what happened, this is changed colors, so oh no you tripped over your and this is just saying either means pick one, so either you tripped over your shoes, your dog, your cat, your own foot. Now, when I hit my play, oh no you tripped over your cat. If I were to refresh this, it would give me something different for each time, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through your story and let's make it a little bit more uh, personalized and give it some eithers. The second thing I want you to do is um, I want you to also do this with some numbers. So you trip down the stairs. Let's say I had something that says you trip down you know X amount of stairs. Okay, so just to put that in perspective, when I play that, you trip down X amount of stairs. Well, if I want to make that random, you don't use either. You use random. You put in parentheses random. It's just different between numbers and integers, which would be, a I mean, integers, which would be numbers, and then strings, which would just be text. Okay, so you trip down random, and let's do, and you don't, and you do not put numbers in quotes, by the way. So one, two, three, four, and I can, I typically do a space after the comma. Three, four, five, six, seven. You can do as many as you want. Let's go up to ten here. Um, ten. And then you close the parentheses, and I'm going to get rid of the X there. So you trip down blank amount of stairs. Now, because we put random in there, you trip down... Um, actually, nine too many vowels were given to this random. So I, I'm guessing, uh, and I've never seen that before. Um, so random, you can only do so many, apparently. So let's take away a few of these. I'm not sure the limit, guys. Uh, twine is a little bit new to me as well. Uh, okay, so I get this. So random will only be able to do two. Okay, now the reason that is a thing is because um, you can use the numbers to do something else. So what you can do instead is you can use either and you're going to put the numbers in quotes, okay? So you can see there on the fly I had to change that because depending on what kind of programming you're doing, um, certain things have certain you know rules to them. So if you want to do numbers you can also use either Okay, so let's mod that a little bit. So, um, now we hit play, and if I hit refresh, uh, it will, you know, refresh randomly. So, um, if I wanted to tighten that up a little bit, I might just say you trip down, you know, zero stairs, one stairs, two stairs, three stairs. So you're going to go around your story for this week, and you're going to add some eithers in. So, you know, uh... In fact, you're just going to add eithers in. Don't bother using random. We're going to come back to why random only accept two, accepts two options next time, okay? So use put in some eithers all around your story to make the story a little bit unique.